Welcome to Thinking Particle 6 new features video. In this video, we will show you how we have changed the assignment of physics simulation parameters to particles and particle groups. But before we do so, let's just have a look at this uh, scene, which is also a sample scene for Thinking Particles 5. We have a rope simulation here going on and several rigid bodies attached to the rope system. Thinking Particles 5 users will recognize this scene. This was the standard scene shipping with Thinking Particles 5. Now let's have a look how the scene was set up. We have uh, several dynamic sets, three dynamic sets where we have our simulation, physics simulation, force and the creation of the particles. We do that with an object to particle. We have the three objects, throw them in the all group. And then we have this new operator, BT rope import. So that's our new bullet rope import operator. And this operator lets you pick a spline in the modeling viewport and then it creates a particle and attaches automatically the physics simulation parameters to this particle. Thinking Particles users might remember that these rope simulation or bullet physics simulation parameters, they have been attached to the uh, particle groups, which is no longer the case. So if, when you create a new particle group, you won't see the physics rollout menu. However, for compatibility reasons, we still have, when you load an older scene into Thinking Particle 6, the old style rollout menu for physics simulation parameters. In older versions of Thinking Particles, the simulation parameters were always attached to the particle groups. There was no other way. The ropes are now handled by a special operator, BT Rope Import. In the past, the ropes had their own parameters, simulation parameters, attached to the particle group. The same is true now for rigid bodies. If you wanted to have rigid bodies, you would just use the new BT rigid body operator. And this assigns the physics simulation parameters to a particle that's connected to the input port. You can choose a solver. That's another advantage you have here. And you can also set up all the effects you see in here. It's just a better way to handle physics simulation. And if you wanted to create a soft body out of the same particle, you would just use our new BT soft body operator. You connect the particle that should be turned into a soft body. And the same thing here, you choose the solver you want to use. You can have multiple solvers in a, in a simulation and you have all your physics simulation parameters in here. It's just the most flexible way we have introduced to physics simulation parameters. The old way would have been adding it to the particle group and you would end up with an endless list of parameters. Imagine you had particle groups for soft bodies, rigid bodies, fluids, ropes and all this kind of stuff. You would end up with an endless scrolling and menus over menus. So our new method solves all these problems. You assign the physics simulation parameters directly to the particle. And the same works for fluid simulations. We have the flow group operator that holds the fluid simulation parameters. As you can see there, you choose your solver, the group, the particle group, and all is done. It's the most flexible way to handle multi-physics simulation in a dynamic set. Thank you for watching this video and please check out our other feature videos as well.